My name is Vin Gopal. I'm 25 years old. Uh, I'm originally from Freehold, New Jersey. Um, later moved to Colt Snack, New Jersey, and now I live in Long Branch, New Jersey. I'm the owner and operator of the Monitor Newspapers. Monitor Newspapers uh, has four publications which cover Monmouth County. Um, the Navisink Monitor, the Bayshore Monitor, the Country Monitor, and the Millstone Monitor. The Navisink Monitor was the first publication which started in June of 2008. It covers the communities surrounding the Navisink River, Rumson, Fairhaven, Seabright, uh, Middletown, and Red Bank. The Bayshore Monitor, uh, which was our second publication we created in 2009, covers the communities uh, on the Bayshore, which are Hazlitt, Aberdeen, Matawan, Keyport, Keensburg, Union Beach, uh, Middletown. The Country Monitor, which covers the communities of Coltsneck and Homedale, was started in uh, early in 2010. And our fourth publication is the Millstone Monitor, which covers the communities of Millstone, Allentown, and Roosevelt. And that was also started in early 2010. The four publications have a combined circulation of around 30,000 uh, homes and businesses. Um, we mail directly to uh, the majority of the homes and businesses, um, and we distribute copies at over 300 local businesses. We publish on the first of every month, and we cover community, non-time sensitive news, um, such as uh, small business news, we take a different focus where we focus on the small business, on the restaurant or the shopping center or the um, coffee shop and we focus on the history of the place, who the owners are, what their background are. So it's a, it's a more personal touch instead of just shopping at your local supermarket without really knowing who anyone is. It gives you a more personal touch of the business and what they've gone through. Uh, in addition to covering business news, we also cover local community news, giving parents the opportunity to see their kids in the papers. Um, we cover different events at the local high schools, um, different functions from, play, from school plays to uh, school musical recitals. Um, and this gives a residence in the respective towns a more uh, community-like feeling because they um, they're able to see uh, their neighbors in the paper. Um, in addition to that, we cover other upcoming events like um, uh, uh, Memorial Day schedules, July 4th fireworks schedules, other items that, uh, that are not time sensitive uh, in the sense that um, it's not urgent that it gets out, but it gives the community um, uh, a place to get this information. It's important to have these type of publications, uh, not just here, but all over the country, because it gives residents the ability to reconnect with their communities. Um, this past month, we did a story on a local firefighter that uh, received an award for his accomplishments and contributions as a volunteer firefighter to his community. Uh, that story was not on the internet. It wasn't on any of the daily papers or any of the major publications. These are the type of stories that um, that I think help uh, help give the importance of a community and, and maybe a lot of people didn't realize that that volunteer firefighter received that award, now they do realize that, whereas uh, they wouldn't have been able to do that uh, going online or, or reading their, their local daily or even weekly publication. So it's important to have publications like this so we can get a more personalized uh, uh, connection with not just those in the community but the businesses in the community as well. It was very hard to start the newspaper in the beginning uh, because I didn't have any newspaper experience. I had a limited budget and uh, I had to I borrowed a good deal of money from banks uh, at the time it was much easier to get credit and um, without having any experience or background in journalism or business but it was always something I wanted to do. Um, I tried to uh, uh, do the best I could. It was difficult given the not knowing how to deal with printers, how to get the paper printed, how to hire writers, how to really start a business without knowing any of that. And for the first several months, uh, 
we lost thousands upon thousands of dollars uh, every month, close to eight to nine thousand dollars a month in the beginning, which was just added on to our debt. Um, so it took it took a good year just to learn the business, learn how to get advertisements, learn how to uh, hire reporters, learn how to produce the paper, learn how to pay for uh, different aspects that you're not uh, used to in a business. Uh, example, how to get the postage costs lower, how to get the best printing costs, how to get them mailed in a timely fashion uh, and, and delivered, etc. So we had a lot of difficulty. It was just basically me. And since uh, the, the newspapers are all 100% funded by advertisements, uh, in the beginning it was just me running around um, business to business to try to get the, the advertisements and to write the articles and to cover the different community events and put it all together. And, and it was uh, a, lot, a lot harder than two years ago when I started to now we have about uh, uh, six or seven full-time employees, uh, a few part-time employees, a lot of good, talented freelance writers, a lot of interns, and uh, um, a great production person who lays the paper out, several uh, part-time sales agents. And now we've built where we have uh, a bit of an organization. Our first publication came out. It had eight pages. Um, this month we're at 36 pages, one of our publications, uh, with about 60 to 70 percent of them as paid advertisements. So uh, we've definitely come a long way in the last two years. Today we have over 150 advertisers every month. Um, we have a lot of uh, name brand uh, companies uh, in real estate, like uh, Weikert Real Estate, uh, Century 21, um, to name brand restaurants uh, and diners, such as IHOP and Perkins, to name brand shopping centers, like Pier Village uh, and the Airport Plaza Shopping Center, uh, major car dealerships, like uh, Subaru and Nissan, um, and dozens and dozens, if not over a hundred local small businesses, uh, restaurants, pizzerias, cafes, pharmacies, coffee shops, um, just about every type of business uh, from plumbers to carpenters uh, advertise with us every month. Uh, and we have a, a very high retention rate. They come back and we get new advertisers every month too. Um, we've also distribute our paper at over 300 locations in the county. Um, including another advertiser, Bayshore Community Hospital, which is a big hospital in the Bayshore area. They have three racks at their hospital, which over 500 papers get picked up every month, um, including uh, racks at the Red Bank school system, a lot of the big restaurants and diners, Basil Tees, a big restaurant in Red Bank, um, and distribution points throughout Monmouth County, in addition to all the direct mail uh, that we do, which is over uh, 22,000 copies mailed. Um, every month. Our revenues have gone up drastically, our profits are, are good, and we're continuing to build out, hoping to start new publications soon, and uh, hoping to expand the circulations of our current publications.